This week on Gadget, Simple Storage from Simple Tech. Ho, ho. Welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net, where if you've been good, it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balasser of the Society of Jesus, the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order of the Catholic Church, and we're here again in the Center for Apostolic Technology in Honolulu, Hawaii, at the University Catholic Center on the campus of the University of Hawaii. If you've watched some of our earlier episodes, you know that we did a review of the Otter Medium Laptop case and uh, it was fantastic. We threw it in a bathtub, we squirted water on it, we jumped on it, we pounded it, we shot it, we dropped it, we threw it, and it came out perfectly. Well, they've built that same sort of quality into their smaller boxes. These are designed to be sort of the everyman storage. They have padded interiors. It has this grommet that goes around the outside of the box, and uh, it has this positive locking mechanism that is found in all otter boxes. It's watertight, it's airtight, and this thing will float this is their 1000 series. I've been using one of these for carrying around my business cards and uh, it works quite well both for that and for small devices or as a project box. They also have this which is sort of the mid-range, it's the 3250. They all have that same auto construction, they all have that same auto durability. They're all made out of this uh, injected polyplastic type material that is pretty much bulletproof. These are available right now at major retailers or online at the Otter website. You can get the 1000 series for uh, 1149 I believe they come in a series of colors. This, of course, is yellow. The 3250 is a bit pricier at that uh, is 2449 And then the 3500, which we've been using to carry around a spare camcorder, uh, runs about 2849 There are a lot of vendors out there that would like you to believe that storage is storage. They believe that everything can be boiled down to three characteristics. Size, speed, and durability. As long as it's big, as long as it's fast, and as long as it lasts a long time, they believe that we really don't care what our storage looks like. Well, we know differently. We know that different jobs call for different types of storage. Sometimes you want the 256 megabyte or 4 gigabit gigabyte flash drive. Sometimes you want the big honking NAS array that can serve out data to many different users. And sometimes you want something simple. Those who have been around the block for a while know that Simple Tech has a name for being, well, a memory company. They've been around a long time. They've provided upgrades for desktops and laptops. They've given us thumb drives that were good and inexpensive, but not particularly on the cutting edge. I mean, there's been nothing that has distinguished them from their competitors. Well, that's starting to change now that Simple Tech has been uh, acquired by a company named Fabrique, which has decided to combine Simple Tech's best of breed storage with their style. What they've done is they have created a line of products that uh, complement all the different levels of storage needs. In this case, they've sent us the Simple Tech Portable. This is the Simple Drive, and the idea is they've taken a standard 5400 RPM. 8 megabyte cache drive and they have even closed it in a very nicely designed little plastic case. Now this is actually designed by a company named Pininfarina. Now that's probably a murder of its pronunciation but I like the sound of it. It makes me sound Italian. Let me say it again. Pininfarina. That's the same company that has designed Lamborghinis and Ferraris and the idea was to, to sort of make storage not so boring. As you can see the design is a is this sort of curved, non-sharp edge, uh, sleek, aerodynamic look. Now, normally that doesn't matter in storage, but they've also designed this to be incredibly durable. We've actually dropped several of these units. We have the 160 gigabyte version. We've also got the, uh, the 80 gigabyte and the 250 gigabyte versions. We've dropped them. We've left them in laptop bags. We've cooked them. We've frozen them. And they seem to be no worse for wear. Using the Simple Drive Signature Series Portable is as easy as plugging in the included USB to mini USB Y cable. No drivers are needed. You can use the supplemental power plug or the 5 volt adapter for additional power, but we didn't need it on any of the desktops or laptops that we tested. The included Storage Sync backup software is surprisingly full featured and functional. 
It allows you to set up for full or incremental backups, specify compression levels, and choose encryption up to AES-256. It also lets you set up the drive to automatically sync certain files or folders every time the drive is connected, ideal for those off-changing documents, spreadsheets, or Outlook files. I was also quite pleased that they included an option to keep a number of file revisions, meaning that you can go back to previous versions of a document or media file. Performance was good for a 5400 RPM drive. Transferring everything from 2K text files to 18 gigabyte videos, we averaged about 92 megabits per second. The Pinion Farin, a line of Simple Drive signature portables, are available online for between $70 and $150 in capacities from 80 to 250 gigabytes. The second unit that Simple Tech sent us to take a look at is this. This is the Simple Tech Pro Drive. Now, this comes out of their desktop series, whereas the portable series is designed to be used for laptops or to go between desktops. This is more of a permanent type storage, something that you would keep on your desktop, next to your computer, or in one place. It provides a great amount, much more storage than the smaller drives. This one is a 500 gigabyte version, but they also have a one terabyte version. They also have the Duo Pro drive, which actually puts two drives next to each other so that you can either have that redundancy or that, that added capacity. Now, one of the cool things about these is that if you look at the top, it's got little indentations in the grill. Well, that's not just for style. If you look at the underside, those indentations correspond with the feet on each of these Pro Drive units so that you can stack one unit on top of the other. On the business end of the device, you have not only your standard power and connector options, but you also have a little security connector. They've, they've even included this so that you can lock down your storage device in case you have sensitive data that you don't want to walk away. Now, you've also noticed that there's a USB port, again, USB 2.0, so it supports the full 480 megabits per second. But there's also an external SATA port, that's eSATA, and this is the 3 gigabits per second version, so that you can maximize your transfer to and from the drive. The Pro Drive uses a 7200 RPM hard drive with a smart fan for near silent operation. When we benchmark the USB interface on a mid range computer, the drive transferred data about 15% faster than the internal SATA drive. When we plugged in the eSATA interface, the performance jumped more than 100%, and we noticed a big drop in CPU utilization during BIGS transfers, from 35% using USB to 6% using eSATA. SimpleTech includes two backup options. The first is the ArcSoft Total Media Backup and Record. This program does everything from total and incremental hard drive backups to selective file storage. It also includes utilities to burn CDs and DVDs, duplicate discs, rip CDs, create disc images, and burn DVDs from video TS folders. The second backup option is Fabric's Ultimate Backup. This is an online, encrypted backup service. Fabric includes a free 2 gigabyte version which can be expanded. The service can be set to automatically backup the changed files on your system every few hours and transfers are protected by 128 SSL encryption. Once on the server, your data is protected by a 448-bit encryption scheme and you can set everything from CPU usage to upload bandwidth to customize schedule settings. With this service, Fabric expands the SimpleTech presence online and gives users a way to backup locally and remotely, keeping your data safe. The Pro Drive is available online for between $180 for the 500 gigabyte version to $500 for the one terabyte box. These drives from SimpleTech just work. And that's what they're really going for. They want to make something that is stylish, something that has a hint of, of fashion behind it, but at the same time can just be plugged in and go to work every single time you need it to. The fact that they've designed their line to accompany travelers or people who work primarily at a desktop means that they've put a lot of thought into into how they're pitching simple tech into the future and that bodes very well for the company if you're looking for storage if you want something that's faster than your run-of-the-mill generic OEM product that's more stylish than some of the more utilitarian type units and uh, gives you a pretty good value for for what you pay you're definitely gonna want to look at the simple tech simple drive and pro drive series now, that's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you want to find out more about the Simple Tech drives or the Otter cases, you can go to www.thetechstop.net. Click on the Gadget tab and you'll be able to find links and uh, full reviews. 
If you want to write us, you can email us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Also, I want to send out a little note. This is going to be our second to last episode here in Hawaii. We're actually heading back to the mainland for CES 2008. So for the days of CES, that's the two press days beforehand and the days of CES and then the, the wrap-up, we will be giving you footage and reviews live, well, semi-live, recorded live from the CES show floor. We look forward to seeing you there and please tune in. I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology and there's no Uber Geek without you.